Hello my friends, welcome to the 30 days rank push challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight, we're on day 6 today, here you have the full upload plan of the challenge. We will talk about 4 of the 9 existing emblems today, the assassin, fighter, jungle and marksman emblem. First, the 5 shoutouts of today goes to KL Demon, Cheat777, Dinayana S Productions, Matthew Breen and the weird person. If you want to have the chance to get a shoutout in the next video, just write something nice in the comments. Also don't forget about the giveaway I'm running for the challenge. The rules and all information you'll need you will find in the description box below. Let's start with a few quick tips on how to level up your emblem properly. First I would recommend that you level your emblem up to level 45. This is the level where you can use all 7 talent points. All extra bonuses from level 45 on are minimal, so you can focus on other emblems once you reach level 45. Next, the best way to level up your emblem quickly is buying the lucky common emblems chest every week and using your tickets in the emblem matrix, once the emblem of your choice is available. You also get a nice bunch of emblems when reaching a certain achievement level and the daily chests are also giving a few emblems and magic dust, which add up over time. And another last tip, it's useful to have at least 2 talent pages for each emblem you use, so you are able to change your emblem when needed. Now let's get into the emblems. We will start with the assassin emblem, which could be also called the emblem each and every hero who deals physical damage uses. I'm not listing all the attributes and subtalents here by the way, this you can see when building your emblem, but I'm going to tell you which subtalents you should use in my opinion. The first one should be agility, it grants you 6% more movement speed when maxed out. This little movement speed boost can help you out in many situations. The faster you can move, the less time you waste running around. Easy right? A second sub talent you should use invasion. You get plus 6 physical penetration when maxed out. The extra physical penetration is way more effective for any hero who uses this emblem than the little crit chance or the little spell vamp bonus. If you need spell vamp, you use the fighter emblem. Next, let's talk about the 3 talents. Bounty Hunter gives you 30% extra gold for a kill up to 15 times. This talent is good for all those heroes who are able to get many kills on any game. Since you only receive the bonus gold when you actually kill an enemy, you really have to make sure to secure the kills. If you have 15 assists but only one kill, this talent is completely wasted. Next we have High and Dry. Your damage is increased by 6% when you and your enemy are alone together. This one is for the sneaky heroes who wait until the prey feels safe while being alone to pick them up before they even realize what is happening to them. All for those heroes who play on the side lane 1v1. And lastly we have Killing Spree. A kill grants you plus 15 HP and increases your movement speed by 20% for 5 seconds. This you can use on all heroes who use the assassin emblem to greatly benefit from the extra HP and movement speed to survive a gank. But again, make sure to secure the kills. Next let's talk about the fighter emblem. The most sub talents I observed being used a bravery as first sub talent and invasion or persistence as second. This is also what I would recommend you. Take the extra damage first and choose between the physical penetration bonus or the extra HP. The only talent that is being used for this item is festival of blood. You get 8% spell vamp which increases with every kill by 1% up to 12 times. So in total you get a maximum of 20% extra spell vamp. This talent is used by all heroes who use spell vamp, including assassins like Fanny for example. I checked out almost all heroes if anyone is using the other talents, because I couldn't think of one, but I couldn't find anyone who is using it. So I recommend you to only use this emblem for heroes who use a spell vamp. If you are using any of the other two talents, let me know on which hero and why you use it. Next we have the jungle emblem. This emblem is rarely used and honestly for most heroes other emblems work better. However, there are still situations where you can use it. For example, when you are playing a hero with a really weak early game as a jungler, you can use Veteran Hunter to boost your farm early on. You could also experiment with the talent Mage Killer on heroes who loves to push turrets. Since you get an extra 20% damage on turrets, the turtle and the lord. As sub talent, you can use whatever fits your hero most. I just wouldn't use Brutal or Iron. Either you are strong enough anyway to clear the jungle, or if not, the extra 21% of the very low attack will make almost no difference. Weak plus weak is still weak. Well, that's all I have for the jungle emblem and before we move on to the marksman emblem, I have today's secret code for the giveaway for you. It is… Bloop. Again, all infos about the giveaway 
you find in the description. Last but not least, we have the marksman emblem. This emblem is also not used by all marksmen, since many prefer to run around with the assassin emblem. In this emblem, you can use any subtalent. It depends on what your hero needs. If you need attack speed, pick swift. If you need crit chance and damage, pick fatal and doom, and so on. For most heroes who use this emblem, the talent Electro Flash is the most useful for them. You gain an extra 40% movement speed for 1.5 seconds and get some HP back based on your physical attack. But for those heroes who don't need movement speed, for example 1 1, you can use Weakness Finder. You have a 20% chance of slowing an enemy ranged hero down by 90% and reduce their attack speed by 50%. So a perfect talent against enemies marksmen. Just be aware, this effect only applies for ranged heroes. Now, go and check out the whole playlist. Or if you are a daily viewer, see you tomorrow. Have a great day.